John Puccino studio inside of High Tech High School. It's the white water bottles. <laughs> Show on with podcasting. Call in and join the conversation at 201-589-0321. I'm your announcer, Isabel, and now your host, Veronica. Good morning. I'm your host, Veronica, and with me today is Isa, and welcome to White Water Bottles. Our brand new show. So this uh, this show is just going to be like the two of us talking about stuff that, you know, we're thinking about and that we're just... About. This show is made by two girls who are obsessed with Taylor Swift, yeah. stickers, and okay. white water bottles. I'm actually ordering, uh, like, it's like a 200 pack of Taylor Swift stickers that's all going to go on my Stanley. Right here, guys. She has a bunch of them, but the thing is, like, I didn't, ha- didn't want to order them yet because I have a bunch of Gilmore Girl stickers. Oh, the we love is, Gilmore Girls. My thing is, I wash my water bottle at least once or twice a week, so the sticker starts to peel a lot, and it gets, mm-hmm. like, disgusting. Mm-hmm. But I could always just hand wash it if I really, like... Oh, it's too much work for me, girl. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I just put it in the dishwasher, and I'm like, oh. Yeah. My thing is, if my stickers start peeling, and I paid for my stickers myself, it will hurt me. When they start peeling, I just put them on my laptop. Oh, that's cute. I don't know, like, I'm obsessed with stickers. I love the cardigan, the exile. Yes! <laughs> Folklore, guys, and then we got Invisible String. Invisible String Ape. Okay, wait. So you know how in the summer I turned pretty, they put Invisible String over that one scene? Yes. They put the the most random part of Invi- Invisible Scre- String, too. That's, like, the funniest part. Yeah, I, I expected it to be the part where it's, like, you know that one bridge? I expected it to be that. It was just, like, a random part. Another thing that really annoyed me in the summer I turned pretty was the snow on the beach scene not being snow on the beach, right? Because there was the scene where like oh, Conrad so and um, what's her face Belly. and Belly were on the beach. It was Christmas time, and they didn't put snow on the and they didn't put snow on the beach. They put invisible string. Exactly. But then the, the Jeremiah shooting. scene, I was like, why would you put delicate for Jeremiah? Do they, delicate. I, in my in my eyes, the Taylor Swift songs in the summer I turned pretty are for. Belly and Conrad only. Belly and Conrad is the correct pair. Jeremiah, he is not it. So why put a Taylor song? If they had to put a Taylor Swift song, I would have cho- chosen "Gorgeous" because Ocean Blue yes. Eyes. Like, come on. Like I'm that gonna... was that would literally be the one song you could do. That was the decision. like delicate, really. Like, yeah, I don't know. I didn't really, I didn't really agree with that decision. Speaking of Taylor Swift, last night she came out with 1989 Taylor's version, and guys, it's it's okay, guys, spectacular. Well, mm, it's not okay. I'm going to be so honest. I started listening this morning because I wasn't going to stay up till 12 o'clock at Me night either. on a Me school either. night. Yeah, guys, I'm a responsible person. <laughs> but so the she has five vault tracks, which are um, a word I can't say, say don't go, now that we don't talk, suburban legends, and is it over now? Now, the word I can't say, um, if you search up Taylor Swift, you're just going to know you'll what song find it. it. You'll find it out. We're just going to call it S. So S is the only vault track that I've listened to so far, and it was really good. But I listened to the first half. I listened to Welcome to New York, Blank Space, Style, Out of the Woods, All You Have to Do is Stay, Shake It Off, I Wish You Would, Bad Blood, Wild Streams, and Half of How You Get the Girl. So my problem was, first of all, Welcome to New York and Blank Space. You listen to those two back to back, Taylor's version and stolen version. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't could not tell the difference. But in that, and that's kind of good for me because I still get that feel. But like. For out of the woods, oh my god, and wish you, I wish you would. Like, I did not get that feel, especially during the bridges. I was just like waiting, and I was just like, Out of the Woods is my favorite 1989 song, and it was not, it did not deliver. But another thing that really pissed me off is style. Style is like my jam. Like, I love style. I don't care how TikTok a fight it gets. Like, it's literally like that iconic, and it's not like it got famous during TikTok or whatever. Like, I heard it's that song. It's always like, been popular. Like, seventh grade me, not even, like, fourth grade me love that song. Yeah. The thing is, Shake It Off style and Bad Blood are, like, what, and Wild's Dreams are what you could call, like, her popular, like, TikTokified songs. Yeah, exactly. But the thing is, I really like those. Like, I know a lot of people are like, I don't really like it because, like, social media has ruined it for me. Yeah, but for like, me, social media ruined songs are Antihero and Lavender Haze. I I loved Antihero. And then once TikTok, like, TikTokified it, I was just like, I like the radio. I was just like, I can't listen to the song anymore. I like, love Taylor, but I just can't listen to it. It's on my it. playlist. It's on my main playlist. Like, it's fine. It's a good song. Like, I'm just, telling you, if Antihero was on Folklore and not Midnight's, like, the album, people would like it more. But the thing is, it wouldn't match the vibe of folklore because it's more exactly. of a poppy song. So it's obviously not. 
Folklore. Yeah. This, this I have, folklore is too sad. I here, love it, here's though. my little playlist. It's I don't know how many songs it has. It has a lot of songs. But it's just all either Taylor Swift or Daisy Jones and the Six. Real. I love Daisy Jones and the Six. I have a playlist. I don't know if you guys can see this. But it's called Taylor Time. And it has every single Taylor Swift song. It is by far my favorite. Here, if you guys want to see. It's called Taylor Time. It's a little blurry. <laughs> huh? It's called... Ah, it's called Taylor Time. I love it. I nice. every time I listen Taylor to it, time. I think it might be private. Wait, no, no, Taylor Time's probably public. But I love Taylor Time. Like anytime I just need like a vibe, I could just play it and I'll if I'm sad, I'll skip over the poppy songs. And if I'm happy, I'll skip over the sad songs. But the one sad song I'll never skip is Champagne Problems. I love Champagne that, Problems. That song. Okay, I saved it. It's now. Oh look, she she saved it, guys. I got it. She's real. So the thing is. Just going down the line of these songs, I love every single one of them. You could literally see from my yeah. phone. Yeah, that most they're all of saved. Them are saved. I just there's some songs. Hold on, I have to sneeze. But there's some of these that just like really like annoy me sometimes. You know what? I heard. I don't know. I think I saw this on Taylor Nation's Instagram. I don't know if this is confirmed, but there's going to be a 1989 deluxe version, and Bad Blood is apparently confirmed to have Kendrick Lamar's lyrics in it. Ooh. And I love the Kendrick Lamar. Right? version of bad blood it's the better it's, version exactly but when did you guys see it like was it just me like when i opened the album and i go to bad blood i look at the lyrics that spotify posted and they posted kendrick's lyric so what? i thought i thought like the lyric you know how spotify has the lyrics i thought that it would have his lyric but then they never said the lyric and i got so confused and then like people were mad or whatever but i listened to bad blood but i didn't like hear Kendrick's lyrics. Also, I didn't feel like Clean had the same vibe. I have not listened to Clean yet. I Like, I, I didn't get... I, I, don't, have, I don't know how to explain it. I have it. three I mean, songs until I get to Clean. I didn't get that. Because Wonderland too. I never really liked Wonderland that much. Sure. It was still a good song, but I like the one bridge where it's like, didn't you flash your green eyes at me? It kind of hit. I wasn't like, oh no, it didn't hit. But it was kind of similar to like the Speak Now situation on how she didn't sound the same Especially in like haunted, a lot of people said she didn't sound the same. I it's love kind of the same. I love situation. Taylor's version, haunted. Haunted Taylor's version made me love haunted. Yeah. But the songs that Taylor's version made me hate were better than revenge. Better than revenge. Because I was so upset when they changed the lyrics. The lyric, like, it I was me so off. upset. But he's laughing behind the glass, going like, no, this. no, Mr. it was Piero. upsetting. That was my childhood. It was my and they changed favorite my lyric. song. I knew the whole lyric, and then I was like. I have a video of me because it was like the night before my birthday. So I was like, oh my God, it's like a birthday gift. Better than Revenge Taylor's version. So like I'm listening to it and my sister's in the background. She's like, why are you like so mad? Guys, If for those of you who don't know, there was a controversial lyric inside of Better Than Revenge. But it wasn't that controversial. Like it was like not that bad. You it know was, what I mean? It was just like a little bit of like. But now the thing it, is, it was people called it bad because she was um, S-L-U-T shaming people. <laughs> But now she has a whole song called that. So, like, be for real. Guys, I don't know, honestly. It's just when Speaking they changed the lyric, I just felt that the lyric change didn't make sense. Like, I would have been fine with changing the lyric in general, but the moth to the flame, like, I was, was like, a moth to the I, I didn't get it. I, I didn't get it. I was so confused. I was just like, I know moths are like attracted to fire, like in light and stuff, but I was still confused because I was just there like, was, what does that gotta do there was, like, with so much, like, revenge? Science. There was so much science to it. I was just confused. I was like so confused. I also did not like speak now, like the song itself. Oh, then she, sounded no, she, she sounded, sounded different. She sounded different. She also like, sounded different in Dear John, but I wasn't mad in this. I'm not mad. Hey, welcome. Oh, to Kelly's the, joining us. We're having a we're having a white water bottle talk episode. We're talking about Taylor Swift. Introduce you that guest. This so is our this special is, guest. This is our spe special surprise <laughs> guest, Callie. Um, she is not a white water bottle girl, but that doesn't matter because we still love her. Callie, do you like Taylor? We're talking about Taylor. Oh, bye. Okay. Oh, she's leaving. Let's <laughs> put your headphones on. Um, what else? Like, what was different? Okay, so I did you listen to Suburban Legends? No. And because... I need time myself to think to like listen to these songs. Like I'm and you're probably all be like, what the heck is she talking about? But for Speak Now, I didn't like properly listen to some of the songs. Same. I just kind of like listened listen to the ones to that I liked. And then like I discovered songs that I liked later on, like Dear John. I didn't like I didn't listen to Dear John in my in my original listen of Taylor's version. Mm. But then when I did, I liked it. I liked 
never grow up. I felt I fell in never love with that. I, I like fell that. in love with Long Live. I fell in love with Foolish One. Foolish One is like my favorite song. I'm gonna be honest. Am I the only one who just I never liked the song Enchanted? Me either. So when I heard it on Taylor's version, I didn't feel moved. I just never liked Enchanted. Like it was so like it was one of the songs that TikTok ruined. Like yeah. I like I listened to it, it was like I was a child. I was like. Oh, oh, the like, headphones. I just could not. I just, I don't know, guys. I can't with that song. It's just, like, sometimes the media really corrupts these songs by overplaying them in, like, 30-second videos. Exactly. Where, like, I swear to God, today I'm going to open my phone. I'm going to – oh, I I'm can't gonna... go on Instagram right now. But let's say <laughs> I – hacked. I did get hacked. But let's say if I were to go on Instagram <laughs> right now, I bet you I would just – it would just be, like – Style, yeah. New, new I romantics. checked this morning. I, new romantics. I it actually romantics. hit. It actually hit the it. Taylor's version. It actually, it was good. I liked it. Like, I feel. Was there a lyric change? I don't remember. I, you know, the part was like, like the rumors. Like, I don't remember hearing it. Okay. But I think it might be in it. I could just be like, I. So honest, yeah, I think it is. It is. I hear you. We can hear you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I can hear it now. I only know like two Taylor Swift songs. <laughs> no, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. We still accept you here. We accept you. We accept everyone. We accept everyone. We love except everyone. Except for the people that say that Kanye West is like. I don't like Kanye West. Famous. I don't like Kanye West. Me either. His I music. Mean, I mean, his music is not bad. Okay, like I, is, his music is actually really. On popular. occasion, I just I just don't support. I don't support his how he ideals. how he his ideals. went about things. Yes. Yeah. But we only have one minute left, so to wrap up this episode, we're not. Gonna I have a question, Mr. DePiro. Do oh. we get extra credit for being in here? <laughs> um, we already. Uh, we all have a hundred. We don't it's need okay. extra credit. Yes, you can't get higher than uh, uh, one hundred A plus. Can I get a hundred one? Can you give me a hundred one? Can you get? Yeah. Can you get? Can I get a hundred one? Can we get? Can we get a hundred point nineteen eighty nine? That's like a. Oh my gosh! Yes. It's like a unicorn. It just doesn't exist. Okay. Oh. Okay. okay. Um. To wrap can it. We, can we wrap up? A I can our can I create song. it then? We're gonna wrap it up by saying our favorite songs instead of doing our weather because the weather <laughs> because, is stupid. You because guys, what about our girls? No matter what, we bring our water bottles. So you, the weather you, does not matter. You've heard us say the weather. Like we heard us say the weather three times today, guys. Okay, so Callie, you can start with your favorite. I think I'm gonna pass. You don't even okay, have guys, to say hold on, I don't even I know. Get out, I gotta get out the list. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna give you guys five because the same, bell's about to ring. Five. Same, same, same. So I, I like say, do five. All, all Too Well Taylor's version. Yes. Um, I like Getaway Car. I like Foolish One. Um, I like. Out of the woods, and oh my god, I can't pick a last one. Um, no, 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 no. Dear John. Okay, I'm going to go with all too well ten minute version, Taylor's version, duh. And um, I'm also gonna go with daylight. Hmm, what else? Like champagne problems. Okay. Um, um this is hard. Oh, I bet you think about me. Is that four? I think I have one more, guys. Yeah, one more. Um. I want to do something from folklore. Next, no, 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 sir, please. Next next week, um, next the week. The one, the one, the one. Okay, next week we'll, we'll give you guys um more songs. How did you do that? How did you do that? Because you're that good. Bye, Bye, guys. Bye guys. Thank you for watching and thanks to our panel. I'm Veronica and this is the White Water Model Show on Whip um, Radio Podcasting. Watch this on Whip Podcasting's YouTube. Um, have, an, have a good day. Bye. And share with your friends. We have to get to class.